Okay, we're at Auto Sport in Indiana, Pennsylvania, and uh, today we're going to present to you a 1970 Plymouth GTX. This is not a Roadrunner, this is an upscale GTX B Body Mopar, the year that everyone wants, 1970. Um, car is very, very nice, and very few little tiny imperfections that certainly won't uh, hurt the uh, value of the vehicle. It has the correct uh, style Kelsey Hayes wheels on it for 1970 with the trim rings. Uh, this is the correct green color that this car was born with, with the correct striping on it. All the glass is very nice in the car. The, uh, the trim around the glass is all nicely polished and finished. Uh, it has the correct style wiper uh, blades on it. The correct uh, semi-flat black paint on the hood. Uh, the, the fitment of the car is very nice. Uh, a little bit of, you can see, patina, a little wear on the uh, silver uh, around the uh, headlights. Front bumper is very nice. It does have the uh, bumperettes on it. This is a very high option car, by the way. It has a lot of amenities to it, a lot of options that were available in 1970 on a GTX. Again, it is the correct paint with the correct style air induction hood on it too, grabber, air grabber hood. Um, thing in here and I'll show you that uh, underneath the, uh, the hood uh, it does have the correct air induction system on it we still have to hook up the hoses we have the uh, switch for it but we still have to hook up the hoses that uh, actuate the uh, uh, the air grabber but once we do that this thing will function as it should we'll open it right now to show you that it does have the correct striping on it correct style intake manifold on it, it has a holly as opposed to an AVS carburetor on it one thing about this vehicle, it does have a 26 inch uh, uh, extra cooling radiator on it. It has power steering, power disc brakes on it, uh, front only of course. It does have the original number on the uh, radiator core support. I don't know if you can get a picture of it or not, Alex, but it is the correct number on a radiator core support. Car's never been bumped anywhere, absolutely nowhere. The trim tag is on the fender, fixed as it was from the factory, and correct with the correct breakdown of all the colors and options on this car. And you can see from the tag, it's a very high option car. Still has a Presto Light distributor in it. It has a fan shroud. has the correct uh, clutch fan on it the way it was in, uh, in 1970. Just a really nice high, high uh, quality vehicle. This is chrome, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be painted, but we're certainly not gonna take that and uh, remove it and uh, sandblast it and paint it. All this is new, all rubber. It's nice and soft and pliable. Uh, it, it's just a very, very nice, nice high-end car. Let me close the hood here and we'll go around the rest of it for you. Um, Going down the driver's side of it, you can see everything lines up as it should. Your gaps on the hood to the uh, cowl area are all nice. Everything is just as nice and straight as it should be. Going down on the door to the fender, it's as straight and nice as you'd ever hope to find one. Again, the correct style striping going down the sides. Remote mirror on this side. Most of these have a lot of uh, deterioration to them. This one does not. These uh, wing area pieces are nice and clean and crisp. The um, windows, the glass in this car is all nice. Your drip uh, edge molding is all really nice. A little dingy here. It looks like somebody, maybe a broom or something fell against it, but uh, certainly not going to detract from the uh, appeal of the car. Again, the, look at this. Look at the fitment. The whole way around this door, everything lines up as it should. If you look inside the door, nice and clean and crisp uh, edges. Everything is just the way it... Uh, it should be, it's not all deteriorated or you know, shown that it's had the panel replacement. GTX again, this is original too. A little, couple little tiny pits in it, but again, originality, so you leave it alone. Trim around the back window the same way. The hat rack is beautiful. There's no warpage or deterioration on it. It still has its two uh, speaker uh, vents the way they were from the factory. Um, Quarter panels, looking down the side of the car, and Alex is gonna show you a, a whole slew of high resolution photos of this vehicle so you can see how actually how nice the car fits and how everything is straight as can be. Standing right here and looking down the side of the car, it looks like it has no doors on it. It looks like it's one solid piece. It's really a nice, uh, nicely fitted car. 
chrome on the back bumper, uh, just as it was when it was new. Fixments around the uh, tail light assemblies, just the way they were from the factory to correct oval exhaust tips coming out as they were in 1970. Of course, the GTX uh, identification on the back. And if you look at the deck lid, you can see the, the fitment of this is just absolutely as nice as you could ever hope to find one of these guys. Okay, we're going to open the trunk. I don't even know what's in that box. Looks like a bunch of extra pieces if you need it. The original style valve pan covers that uh, came with the car. Um, extra keys, but what's really unique about these extra keys is they have for the trunk and for the ignition key, they still have the original um, little aluminum tags that give you the uh, code, the ID identification for the uh, uh, keys. This I've only ever seen one other time on a car, and it, it took me a while to actually figure out what it was. I had to uh, research it. This is a piece of equipment that is missing on a vehicle. I've got it upside down here. But uh, when it was going down the line, apparently there was something missing. Maybe it was a piece of striping for the driver's door. Maybe it was something that, you know, it, it, the console wasn't there for the car. But it, pull, it was pulled off the line till that piece came about and then they put it back into place this is the actual build sheet for this car serial numbered for the car and it shows all the uh, options on the car as does the trim tag there's a, a, a serial number obviously you, you got your vin number on the dashboard you got your vin number on the radiator course support to show that it's never been uh, uh, in any trouble through its life and there's also one under, i'm not going to tear it up but there's also one underneath the rubber in the back here showing that the original quarter panel top is on there. Uh, the floor itself, I'm going to tear everything up, but the floor itself, there's a, um, no deterioration. It's, it's just a really nice, straight, rust-free floor pan in this thing. It's, it's a car that you'd be very, very happy to show. It's a, above a drive of quality car. There are a couple of very fine imperfections but that's pretty much it looking down the uh, passenger side we got the same thing as the driver's side it's just as straight and linear as can possibly be uh, again both doors you can see the trim around the windows everything lines up as it should the doors close like they should again there's no overhang or anything the uh, uh, gaps are perfect front and back on this car and again we're back where we started in the front you know and it does have the the correct Kelsey Hayes wheels for a 1970 GTX. Uh, the interior of the car is actually very nice. It does have a console in Bacchus, which is correct for this car. That's the way it came from the factory. The gauges function as they should. Um, steering wheel's not all cracked up or anything. It has a, uh, a radio that does not function and we don't care. Uh, the dash is very nice on it. It's not all cracked up and deteriorated. Back seat, front seat, all the upholstery. Um, the seat belts are there, front and back. Uh, just a uh, just a very well well preserved vehicle. Very nice. Door panels are really nice on the car. The chrome around the uh, uh, door panels themselves are very nice. You can see everything, even the uh, chrome around the armrests, which is usually uh, patinaed all the heck. This is, a, is still very nice. And again, everything closes like it should. Uh, just a real nice straight car. 1970 was the iconic year for a Plymouth GTX. Pretty much all the Mopar stuff. You know, everybody wants 70 Kudas, Challengers. But for the Roadrunner and GTX line, this was the one that everyone wanted. The, it was a standalone year, 1970. A 68 or a 69 did not look the same, nor did a 71. They completely changed the body style. So this is the car that everybody searches for when it comes to a Mopar, 1960 or 1970 uh, Plymouth GTX. Not a Roadrunner, this guy's a GTX, 440. Forgot to mention, everything is correct on this car. However, the engine is period correct, not numbers correct. If this car was a numbers correct car, you'd be paying another 15 grand for the thing. But it is a correct 440 style motor for this car, um, hypo type motor. Um, it is not a numbers correct engine for the car. It still runs like it did in 1970. It's here at Autosport in Indiana, Pennsylvania. And uh, at your convenience, take a look at the car, look at the video. Alex is gonna throw up about at least 75 still high resolution photos of the undercarriage. 
uh, plus his video, and you can get a hold of him at Autosport in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Okay, we're in our uh, 1970 GTX Plymouth. Um, left turn signal is functioning as it should. You can see it blinking its head off over here. And the same thing on the right turn signal, right there. We're out in some bad sunlight here. Uh, fuel gauge is functioning as it should. Temperature gauge is working. The uh, oil pressure gauge is working. Any amp gauge is also functioning. Radio does not work and we don't care. Um, uh, everything in the car is really nice. All the chrome, all the fitment, all the finish, the console, uh, everything fits as it should. The headliner is absolutely gorgeous in the car. We're going to go for a little run here and show you. It's got a nice lope to it. You can hear the car running. It's got a real nice lopey cam in it. Um, <clears throat> nothing outrageous, but it's, uh, it's, it's perfect for an automatic uh, 440 car. Just the way it is. 